Welcome back is a subject that makes some of us very nervous. We don't all like to go to the dentist, but sometimes you have to, and you have to have things done, like dental implants. We have Dr. Preeti Desai joining us today. She is a laser implant specialist. It's great to have you back. Thank you, Susan. Give us the general rundown about what it means to have dental implants and what's involved. Well, dental implants are a replacement for your natural teeth. Now, they can be replacing one tooth, multiple teeth, or all your teeth. So you can have an implant-supported crown, denture, or bridge. People and get nervous with this sort of stuff. They do. Especially when it comes to what it sounds like is a, almost a surgery. It is, it is minor surgery, but it is done in the dental office like any other procedure. And with local anesthetic, you don't feel anything. So it's just a matter of communication and understanding what's happening to you. And with that, most people are quite comfortable after that. And I would imagine that technology has absolutely made process like this a lot easier. Things have become mm -hmm. uh, much more of a well-oiled machine when it comes to these kind of surgeries. Absolutely. And that's where, you know, it's almost biomechanical engineering where mm -hmm. there's a science to it. And once you follow all the rules and regulations that all the literature and the studies have shown, it is very, very predictable to the point where now success rates are like 95 97 percent which is excellent very good yeah we have some pictures I thought we'd take a look at these um, the first one showing that perhaps uh, are these screws that go right into the jaw that is correct okay that is correct Let's talk about that <laughs> <laughs> Well, the science of implantology has been around since the 1960s, actually. And it's the same science that hip replacements, shoulder replacements are based on. And the beauty of titanium as a product is that the body accepts it. Your bone actually fuses to it. So you don't feel it. Bone has no nerves, so it's not painful. And you floss, you brush, just like your own teeth. So for people who want to get dental implants, this is an option as, as opposed to getting dentures. Is that, is that right? Absolutely. Um, in, in the past, den dentistry didn't have very much to offer as far as tooth replacement that was as superior as your own teeth. There's mm -hmm. nothing that can match that, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. But dental implants are as close to your own teeth as you're going to get. And if I had one in my mouth, you would never be able to tell. So they function you have speech that is natural and your aesthetics are beautiful. What are the teeth made out of? The implants are made out of titanium, but crowns, bridges, same material on top of it that people have been using for years. So how does one decide whether or not this is something that they should explore as opposed to going and getting dentures? Well, today's standard of care is that dental implants are the choice for tooth replacement. And what one needs to do is to discuss with one's dentist, have a thorough examination, have a 3D scan, which is a standard of care today, not just a dental x-ray, mm -hmm. and discover that they have the volume of bone and tissue that can um, hold an implant in their mouth. People are living longer than ever. And so if you want to enjoy all of those years as you get older, you know, having healthy teeth is so important. So this is something I can see becoming more and more popular. Absolutely. It's the crux of life. I yeah. mean, if you retire and you're going to travel and enjoy good food, you can't do that without healthy teeth. Absolutely. You know? Dr. Desai, is there anything else that you would like to add uh, in regard to the subject today? Well, I think it's very important for people to understand that if they are going to lose a tooth, that the planning for that needs to be done well ahead of considering implants. And when a tooth unfortunately has to be removed, you know that your other teeth can live longer with a dental implant. Is that right? Very much so. Okay, yeah. good to know. Yeah. We really thank you for being here today. Thank you again. Yeah, all right. If you would like to learn more about this, if this is something that you think might be in your future and you want to learn more, camloopsperiodontist.com as well. The phone number on the screen. Uh, the people at the office will be more than happy to answer your questions.